you know, we were talking earlier, uh, Barry, it must be extremely rewarding and satisfying for a coach like Claude to preach a particular defensive system, to have his general manager go out and acquire players who will fit into that system and then execute it and have it just work as beautifully as he has it going here in the postseason. Yeah, and I would also add one more to that, which I agree with those comments, is that it's also very important for your general manager to pay your players. So what happens a lot of times is everybody says, okay, let's play. We want to play a certain style. Mm -hmm. We want to reward these guys uh, for being successful, but yet they're playing a team defense. So, you know, a lot of times throughout the season when things aren't going well, it's like, you know what, we just don't have enough offense. We don't have those stars like Malkin and Crosby who can generate a lot of goals, but championships as we won are known for – as we know, are, are known for both sides of the puck, not right. only the offense, but it's that great smothering team defense and the structure and the layers they have defensively. So it's been very important, I think, also for, um, for Peter Shirelli to reward these players for not only their offense that they show us by being maybe a point-a-game guy, but they are capable on other teams of probably being you know, 80, 90 points uh, seasons, but they're not. They're giving it up for the team, and they're doing it the right way. The layers and the structure and the smothering is all about taking away time and space. And in the Pittsburgh series, as well as the Blackhawks series, is it fair to say they are giving up the puck and passing it sooner than they'd want to? Oh, absolutely. And you can, you can hear from the comments post-game last night, uh, they didn't have that Pittsburgh maybe whine uh, or complaints <laughs> about officiating, but it was a lot more respectful that they were paying – you know, homage to the fact that the Bruins are a difficult team to play against. I mean, you're a right winger. We were talking about a brick guy after the game last night. You're Kane coming down the right side. You look up and you say, oh, there's Chara. I'm going to try and get some speed through the neutral zone and go over to the other side. I'm sure it'll be easier. As you're going across east to west, all of a sudden there's forwards coming back. They're getting in your way. And then you're able to get through that layer. And then you get over to the left side, you look up, and there's Seidenberg standing there. And he's every bit as good as Char defensively right now and is strong and blocking shots and getting in the lanes and doing those little things. And he has elevated his game. So I think when you're seeing the comments from Chicago, it's the respect of how hard and difficult it is to play against the Boston Bruins. All right, I got, I got your numbers in front of me, uh, Barrett, and I am uh... – I'm sorry, I didn't know what a good playoff performer you were. You didn't get there enough, but in 34 playoff games, Dino, this guy had 52 points. Big time player. You're a clutch player, uh, Barry. I need. Well, we, had I, some, we had some, as you remember back then, we had some really, really good teams, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Of course, you didn't see the playoffs in the last six years in the <laughs> league, but hey, tell me. Just, just, just stay to the early part, okay? Don't <laughs> tell, tell me this, Barry. How good were you in the faceoff circle? And, and, can a guy, you're an expert. Can you explain to us why, how Patrice Bergeron can be so damn good? Well, that was one of uh, our strengths and one of the things we worked a lot as a team because of puck possession, especially in the old small guard. You needed to have that puck as much as you could. But uh, to me with Bergeron, it, first of all, it starts with, uh, you know, technique. He's very good at it. Uh, he knows how to cheat, as we say, uh, in, in a good sense. He's got excellent timing. But I think more importantly, uh, people underestimate the will factor. Uh, Face-offs a lot of times, especially in the neutral zone, especially um, in the offensive zone, are every bit as important. You'll see guys really bear down defensively to try and win those draws. The Bergeron's about trying to get puck possession all over. And, boy, we saw last night uh, how effective he is and how he can take another line apart by taking possession of that puck and getting on the offense immediately. For more, visit weei.com slash video.